What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wanted to make applications but you always thought that it was way too hard to learn the coding languages that you found on the site and that people recommended you? Well today in this video I found exactly, I mean exactly, the coding language that is suited for you guys. It is called Swift UI. So before that we get right started, let's quickly roll the intro. So before that we go in detail of what Swift UI is, let's quickly roll a quick clip which will explain really the basics and what this big hype is all about for the Swift UI. So here we have the Swift UI page. It is a pretty powerful and very easy language to learn. It, they say that it's a, um, a very beginner friendly language to learn. But I don't really agree on that one because I'd say that Python is still better because there's a little bit too much code to learn for a beginner. And uh, yeah, and also it's not very, there's not really the point of debugging. When I usually do uh, Swift UI, I don't really see any time where I'd have to debug. And um, it was made by Apple, right? And it was coded in C++ and C. If you guys have followed our YouTube channel, you know that we love C++ and C. So yeah, it's pretty much overall great. So now I'm going to show you how we install the Swift Playground. So we just click on the App Store. Here we went, we go to the search bar and we say Swift Playground. Enter. And now let's select the first one, the first option, the most popular one, and that's the Swift Playground, the one that we're looking for. We click on that. For you guys, it will press get. For me, it's open because I already installed it. So for you guys, you'll have to go through some pretty straightforward steps to install it. And here you can see uh, all of the things that you will have when you install it and when you start making some applications. And yeah, that's pretty much just the basics of what you can do. So now I think that you guys have really got a base concept of the Swift UI by watching this quick clip. And um, so, as I said, it's made by Apple, so you know it's going to be great. And now we can start getting in detail. So we'll have multiple subjects in this video. We have one which is called pros and cons. Why do you use it? Let's compare it to C++ and other coding languages. What is the architecture? How do we use the code in it? How do we code in it? And what is it used for? Should we use it? Overall, should we use it, right? So now, let's get to our first point. So now, let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of this big hype about Swift UI, right? So now let's talk about the pros, first of all. First of all, like I said in the quick clip of the introduction, I explained that it was very powerful and quite simple. So why don't we put that in our pros? It's very simple and it's super powerful. And most importantly, it's super fun. So now let's quickly get to the cons, the things which are negative about this Swift UI, this language. It is non-cross-platform, so it can only work for Apple devices like MacBooks or iPads or even your iPhone, guys. But still, I wouldn't recommend you guys to use your iPhone for coding. But iPads, you could use a Magic Keyboard. Right. Another um, downfall, another negative thing, it's that it. I wouldn't, didn't recommend people to learn it as a first language. But that depends on how you are. If you're like me, I prefer to first learn Python, the easiest language to learn first, to get the concept and grasp the concept of what coding is. And then you can go to more specific and more beginner term advanced things. But if you want, like me, I'm really, me sometimes I do both of these. I do, like I told you, I uh, got, take a small grasp and do this thing. And sometimes I take the equation to, uh, occasion to learn new things. 
and I just go right to it. So that's our, the second thing that I want to say. You go, uh, either you go grasp a little bit about coding, then you go in specific stuff, or you could directly get, get to that. I wouldn't recommend getting it, getting directly to what you want to do specifically, especially if you're learning from a beginner's perspective, if you have never done coding ever, but it would be very recommended to follow your passion. And now our last con, it's that I'm going to be also saying this when we compare it to C++ and other programming languages, it's that you have a lot of control, except you don't have as much control if you had done it in another coding language. Because there's one, that there's a cost that comes to something very simple and like this Swift UI, right? For example. So like Python, for example, or Swift UI. It is very simple, very easy to use, and it's powerful because it is, but Swift UI is an exception, right? They are exceptionally good because they know how to manufacture the code in the smallest and more sophisticated way to make it not take time to run, right? So they make it as fast as possible with their simplicity, which is very good. But languages like Python, for example, they... Right, it's not a video about Python, but I could go on with all which is negative about Python. But today we're talking about Swift UI. So now let's talk about why should you use it? Hmm? Why would you want to use it? Well, you usually use it to make applications and also you use it for its very nice simplicity and it's very performing. Like I said, they manufactured it perfectly for its simplicity and for how fast it is from their manufacturing. Again, I told you guys, it's Apple. It's gonna be good and it's gonna be good. So now let's quickly compare Swift UI to other coding languages, like for example, C++. So C++ and Swift UI, well, there are two differences. First of all, when you do Swift UI, you, you have a lot of simplicity, right? And it's very good because they are able to manufacture it to go also super quick, unlike Python. But there's one thing that they were not able to fix, um, but still it works very well. It's just that this small thing that works with all of the code languages, it is super simple and there's a cost to that. You don't have as much precision and as much customization as if you were to do it in C++. Because C++ really has the, the most precise precision and also it's very fast. Like Swift UI, but it's faster, but you wouldn't really need uh, when it goes fast for app making, but really it's just, um, it's more customizable and more specific. You can really go in detail with C++. So now let's quickly talk about the architecture, how we code in Swift UI. Well, usually you'd be writing a function like text, for example, then parentheses, you put double colons, and then you write your string, your text. You say like, hello world. Then you'd enter and you say dot something. Um, usually, if not always, you'd be custom customizing when you say dot so you'd be saying dot something to customize your button your text or whatever you want to say like dot foreground color um, the uh, color of your text or dot background how is going to be your background and yeah that's basically it all of how it's going to be the architecture but again you'll have many many things to add to that list especially when you're going to go to more advanced and more intermediate side of things for swift ui such as if, uh, loops, function, all of that stuff. And even for loops, which we cover in our C++ video. Because for loops, loops, for ifs, else's, all of those, they get transferred in every single language and every single coding language. It just gets a little bit changed each time for the syntax, but the rest stays the same. So now let's talk about what it is used for. What is Swift UI used for? Well, it's basically used for only app making, uh, unlike C++, because I can tell you one thing, guys. 
even though it's not a video about C++, but you guys know that we love talking about C++ on this YouTube channel. But there's one thing that C++ manages to do the best. It can literally do anything you want. There's no better, best, or better, or worst. You can, it can do everything. Unlike other languages, for example, like SwiftUI, it's only specifically on app on app making, which is good because that means that there's a lot of potential for it. But just say, C++ has, you can learn one language, which is like C++, and you can do whatever you want in your whole career, in the whole industry, you can do whatever you want. Except making sites, that's the only example. So yeah, uh, SwiftUI is a pretty good language, actually it's the, one of the best languages, I would recommend it completely for you guys. Uh, if you want to learn app making, but again, I think that it depends if you want to do a pro if you know already C++, which I teach on this, YouTube, on this channel, uh, you could use uh, C++ app making, but, 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 big but, if you want to learn how to do Swift UI, even if you don't know it, I mean, if you don't know Swift UI, you could still make the application in C++, but still, it's a very good tool to learn Swift UI, even though you're advanced. Advanced, because if you want to make a very simple project like Twitter, for example, just pressing buttons and doing stuff like that and triggers, well, then you you could use Swift UI just for a quick thing and it's super simple. So that's a good thing. It can be used for small projects and it can go super quickly. And also, it's recommended for beginners because when you're a beginner, you just start it out. Swift UI would be the best option. We are going to be covering our last question of the day now. Should you guys use Swift UI? Absolutely. You should absolutely. Oh, sorry. Absolutely. It's uh, really one of the best languages, uh, especially for beginners. It's just superb as a language. And I would absolutely recommend it for you guys. Even though you might be an advanced user, I would still recommend it for quick projects and quick, simple projects. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Yeah, see you next one.